ever happened ever. Right, right, right. In a matter of months, he said, why? Because when they shut down the water, when they're not bringing food, when they released, when the diseases outbreak happens, a lot of the older people and younger people, they're going to die. Right, because right. Because the younger right. kids eat more food uh, uh, often to survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or they'll get what's called koshorpa, which is a, which is a basically that when you see that belly mm -hmm. pop out. And them kids, them kids get malnourished and they end up dying. Mm -hmm. Because adults with a stronger body, they can survive maybe of eating one meal every other day. Yeah. Right? As yeah. long as they can get some water and hydrate themselves every once in a while. Yep. And they, they got can, more body fat too. Yeah, they got more body fat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. kids, they and then what about the elderly? The elderly that's sick, if they're not under that covering mm -hmm. of Yahweh was shy of Yahweh shy, man, which that's gonna be a major time of covering and spiritual protection mm -hmm. on another level in that time. Because that's when it's gonna be like, okay, boom, all hell break loose. Shoo, yeah, you know, you're gonna angels, need it. The angels gonna come down to me. Right. That's right. Yeah. Because that's the only way that you're gonna be able to survive. That's the only that's way. Because right. when you think about how bad it's gonna get, you're gonna when you see I, when you look at how bad it's gonna get, why in the world would you prepare? It's right. gonna be so bad you can't prepare. That's what yeah. I tell you. Whether you part of the elect or you not, mm -hmm. ain't nothing you are gonna do gonna save you unless you under that covering on your house shop. Cause yeah. see, like all these preppers, they have their garages filled up with all this here food. You know what? That's waiting on the looters, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know they ain't keeping it a secret because brother's going to be like, hey, man, look here. Yeah. So-and-so over there got all this food prepped yeah. up in his garage. We going over there to eat. And them people prepping and training with each other, they're going to turn on each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. bro. They're going to turn, bro. They're going to turn. They're going to turn. They're going to be like that. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be that bad. They're going to be like, man, how much food you got left? Man, I ain't got no more. No, you lying, man. You know how that thing will pop off, man. Yeah. And then next thing you know, they all strapped up yeah and then next thing you well, know I hey like the walking dead you know, like the walking dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what they're gonna be doing yeah it's gonna be I man hey man america's gonna, gonna, gonna be a horror show yeah it is that's man that's i've been told that's not that people know my, aunt, my aunt had a dream you know, uh-huh about america going to complete chaos you know, man is that the social you know yeah. so even the and, 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 and somebody else i know he's been telling us man in fact my mom had brought it up the other day when i talked to her they remember, remember how he said that um, there's going that America was gonna uh, go into great violence, and he saw lots of people dead. I'm like, uh -huh. oh, remember that now, don't you? Yeah. And what about that was like ten thousand years ago, like ten years Wasn't ago? Wasn't that so. singer that singer that had the same dream too? Yeah, that Kelsey, uh, Kerry Hilson. Kerry Hilson, yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, hey, yeah. Man. it's gonna be bad out here. The worst place in the, in the world is gonna be in Babylon, hands down, yeah. because this is a place where they're trying to really destroy. By destroying America. You destroy the concept of the American dream of America, that's a good way to set up your new world order. That's right. right. Because that's right. you gotta think about it, if you could destroy America, bring it down to its last, and do something so drastic and dramatic to this place, the whole world is gonna be like, wow. Mm -hmm. The citizens and the people really don't have power. And they're gonna right. wanna submit to that new world order. Submit. Right, right. Because they're gonna see that if these people, these so-called Americans, the homeland of the free home of the brave, couldn't protect their own freedoms. That's right. Right. Then we that's can't right. do it either. Right. But that's, that's what's right. gonna happen. Right, that's right. That's no. right. So go ahead to the next verse. All right. For then shall be great tribulation, mm -hmm. such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. Yep. Nor no, nor ever shall be. Yeah, right. Be, that's what it's saying. In fact, the, the worst time ever. If I go ahead and go to uh the even the Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30, you know what? You had any questions? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Okay. What you was looking for, you said? Yeah, Jeremiah 30. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Mm -hmm. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Even, meaning equally. <laughs> but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah. That's what a lot of people don't understand when we talk about the tribulation coming. Mm -hmm. The elect is going to be saved out of it. Right. Like, like Ezra says, man, when he saw what was going to happen, yeah. he said, woe is me, woe is me. Right. And he was delivered. And this is a... This is an elect brother right yeah. here, bro. That's so right. you know that this thing is going to be serious. So, hey, man, if yeah. an elect man was staying that during that time from what he saw, man, hey. He saw how group, like... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold you on. Tell me, this is... The, Woe is Wait, me. We done went into captivity in Babylon, right? I done seen all kinds of stuff happen to our people. Right. And, and you you now, woe is me. That's right, man. What else did he say on that? What did he say? 
Yeah. Oh, go on to eight. What does eight say? Uh, For it shall come to pass in that day, mm -hmm. said the Most High of Hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. Oh, okay. That's going in. The, well, yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's just gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. But yes, even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Because he mm -hmm. says there's never been a time like that ever. Right. And right. like we were saying, the amount of people that's gonna die and the rate that they're gonna die on this planet is gonna be it's ridiculous. Death. Man. I mean, it's going to be so much death on this planet. Like, I really believe that billions of people will die. Yeah. Like, literally, billions, billions, mm -hmm. like, like wipe out the earth in a short period of time. Okay. Right. That's going to happen. Because they're going to crash the global economy, mm -hmm. and everybody's going to be fending for themselves across the globe. That's right. That's part of the reason why the war is going to be so intense, because people are literally going to be fighting for the lives of their future, man. Mm -hmm. Not just their current lives to, today. They're going to be thinking, we got to do something for our, our children. And those after us, it's going to be so bad, man. I mean, because see, a lot of people just don't understand, like, the level of, of pain that's going to be coming upon the earth, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead and go back to, um, uh, go to Revelations, since we're going to, let's go to Revelations 12, uh, 12, 12, 12. Yeah. Yeah, it's imperative, brothers, sisters, just start getting their, their heads prepared for this thing, man. Yeah, you got to get your mind, your family uh -huh. prepared. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, prepared. even if you're, hey, even if, even if you got family that don't really want to believe, sometimes you got to just hit them with a little bit. Yeah, uh -huh. just to put their mind on it, man. Yeah, you know, because when the time comes, listen, there's gonna be a time when the Most High gonna shut the mouth of his prophets, man. Uh huh. That's right. So it's gonna happen, man. He's gonna literally put the seal upon his mm -hmm. men, and they and they gonna just say, listen. And we'll get the scripture on that. Just read this real quick, and then this we'll is, get the scripture on that. This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. Yeah. He said the devil coming upon you having great wrath. And that's the whole earth. It says woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Earth and the sea. And the sea, man. <laughs> I mean, the animals in the sea gonna get it too. Right. Yeah. Well, they we already see them getting right, getting now. right now. Yeah, the whales, right. the fish, they coming up on on uh, land now, man. I mean, it's to see that the, a lot of people are saying the level of carnage and terror mm -hmm. that these people that rule the world, right, the elites of Edom, mm -hmm. are planning, man. They don't understand. These people are planning some carnage that you will never ever see ever, like it says in the scriptures. That's right. There's never been a time like that on the planet ever. That's how bad it's going to be, man. And, and man, for those that are uh, of the elect, man, man, you're going to be a blessed people beyond measure, man. You know? That's right. He says in the scriptures, you're not going to bring it out. Uh, get the, get the, well, I'll just say it. He says, my servant shall eat. Yeah. We don't know how, but yeah. he just said it. Yeah. Right. You know? Well, and I ain't going to ask no questions. Yeah, just gonna make it happen, man. And just right. go through the scriptures. So many examples of how he fed his servants. That's right. How he fed yep. the children of Israel in the wilderness with nothing growing. God. Imagine being in the middle of the of the of the of, the, of a desert a in desert. Arizona, oh, Arizona, and you eating, <laughs> you eating well, man. Eating well, right? <laughs> I mean, that's amazing, man. Right? And that's faith, man. That's, that's faith. faith. You gotta have faith in that, man. That's why he says, "Shall he not find faith on the earth?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Shall he not find faith on the earth, man? So, so let's go ahead and go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 15. <laughs> you know, start at the top. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, mm -hmm. verse one. Then said the Most High unto me. Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said the Most High, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine. And such as are for to captivity, to the captivity. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's what the prophets are going to be saying. That's right. And you, some, yep. some people are going to be saying that to their own, you know, Our own, family. own sisters, yep. own brother, own parents. You know, That's they're right. going to be all that time that you know that they was uh, scoffing. Scoffing. All that time they was scoffing. Oh, you crazy! You believe the world going to come? Everything continued as it uh -huh. was. That day, you going to when all hell break loose. 
They ain't gonna be like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? You ain't gonna be bringing out no pre seven or nothing. Like, listen, right. if you ain't got it then, you ain't gonna get it now. Right. Either you're gonna go to death or to death. <laughs> We're gonna go into the concentration. Hey, read, read that again. We're gonna break down each one. Just, <laughs> we're gonna break down each one, such as unto. Thus said the Lord, such as for death to death. To death, man. There's a million and one ways to die. Choose one. Yeah, right. Right. That's what he's basically saying. Yep. You know, hey, you don't heard about that guy over there in Yosemite? I don't know if it's a true story, but he basically you have one of them hot, hot spots in Yosemite. Yeah. You ever seen them little? Yeah, with them little springs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Supposedly he fell up in it and he, his body got dissolved. Wow. Whoa! You've seen an article on it. A guy was trying to take a picture near it. He wasn't supposed to be near it. He ended up falling in it. The whole body got dissolved up. Go ahead, such as, this said the Lord, such as for death to death. Yeah, such as for forget to death. Mm -hmm. So like, we, like I said, a lot of ways to die. Right. Okay, a lot of ways to die, man. And, and, and uh, this is going to be a place of mass death. Keep going. And such as are for the sword to the sword. Yeah, so that sword, that that, military, that whole thing that everybody was scoffing about, the whole martial law, the, the Rex 84, uh -huh. King Alfred Pran. Right. Yeah, that sword is going to come upon our people. Mm -hmm. Right. Go, now, hold that. Go to the Ezekiel 21 and 9. Cause see, our people think it's a joke, man. Yeah. And the guys that's switching the scriptures, y'all think it's a joke too. You know? Yeah, cause y'all really that, thinking it's a, it's a game. Mm -hmm. Cause you when, know? Cause when that thing come down, man, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be no last. Thing, yeah. Man. Yeah. This is Esau we're talking about now. Okay. This Go is ahead, Ezekiel I'll... chapter twenty-one, verse nine. Mm -hmm. Started eight. Yeah, started eight. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, prophesy and say." Thus said the Most High, say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. That's right. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. Mm. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should should we then make mirth? It it con contempt, contempt the rod of my son as every tree, and he has given it to be furbished. That's right. That it may be handled. This sword is sharpened. And is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Who's the slayer? Esau. Esau. <laughs> okay. Then what? Now, who, who, who's he going to use it on? Let's go ahead and get to it. Out. <laughs> okay. You know. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. For it shall be upon my people. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. And it shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Come on. So who's that? It's going to be on. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Yeah. Woo. Smite therefore upon thy thighs. Yeah, so that's part of the sword. Okay, we're just giving you a short order because we could give you, uh, was it uh, Second Ezra 16? Yeah. Right? Oh, let's go there. Let's Second establish that sword. Yeah, let's go to Second Ezra 16 about Psalms what? 91. Yeah, you can, yeah. 91.5, Yeah, you can go there too. Second Ezra 16? Yeah, 16. About 16. Okay, go to uh, 15 and, and uh, 56. Second Edges 15 and 56. Second Edges chapter 15 and 56. Like as thou hast done unto my chosen, said the Most High, even so shall Yahweh do unto thee, yeah. and shall deliver thee into mischief. Thy Ooh. children shall die of hunger and... Whoa. Keep going. Wait, wait, thy that chosen. Now thy chosen is talking about the elect. That's Ooh. right. Did, what did it say? It say thy chosen? Our yeah, children. As you've children. done until my that chosen. Yeah, Read that, it one more time. Yeah, at the top it said, yeah. Read it one more time. Like as thou hast done unto my chosen, said the Lord, even so Yahweh do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Mm -hmm. Thy children shall die of hunger, Ooh. and thy shall frail through the sword. Thou shall that. fall what? Thy shall fall through the sword. Thou shall fall mm -hmm. through the sword. That's it. Right? That's right. 